Hi, my name is Bryant Rozier, and I teach middle school kids filmmaking with the help of English principles for the sole purpose of making an animated film. We're basically doing everything but the animation part. We do all the pre-production stuff, the writing, the photography, the cinematography, the directing, the storyboarding, the costume design, the voiceover work, all those pieces. Because I had 20 to 25 kids all in one room, I wanted to use all of their brain power, right? So I treated my class like a writer's room, like they do in television. With a writer's room, what they do is they'll have a group of writers come in and they'll break the story down in general terms. And then they will assign that script to a specific writer to provide the specific details um, based on the general descriptions and ideas that were developed in the writer's room. So in my case, since we had 20 something kids, we broke the story down in general terms. And then after my students chose their individual film departments, we broke the story down further in specific terms. And along the way, I found the process can be gamified. You can actually create um, a game out of what we did. The activity will take two days, one for the brainstorming activity and the other for the rough draft part. All of the students start with the brainstorming sheets and all of the students start appropriately at the bottom. This represents the writer's room experience the most where you break down the story in general terms. And this is something that all of the students do regardless of their later film roles. And this is where the director, the boss of the project is picked. The director is most important because it is their point of view that gets exercised as we make the film. After answering the questions, the remaining students will pitch their story idea to the director. A director will choose a story to direct based on the pitches, assign film roles to the remaining students, and proceed to the next step. There are four jobs, director, writer, camera, and musician. Each job department will be given their own assignment sheets. For the next part, the students will find their assigned jobs on the rough draft sheet placed in the middle of the group. This is where we get specific. The answers will further inform the story for the director who has to choose between the various options. Then those choices are written on the rough draft sheet from the various departments. And at the very end, once all this information is compiled, the director must go through and write a more specific, more elaborate version of the story based on all of the specific and general information that was provided by the group. It would be helpful too, possibly for the other students to write their own descriptions of their story, but this is really the director's story. It's from his or her point of view, all of the decisions have to be filtered through that lens, but the other students will also have their own ideas for how they want that story to be told. 